Sometimes I'll post a picture on, on Facebook or talk about Pablo and, and people will say, you know, just move on. You may be startled to hear certain details about Vin Diesel's private life and his relationships with those close to him, especially his co-star, Paul Walker. Few would assume, given his rugged good looks, that he has a soft place for anybody or anything. Despite the challenges that come with celebrity, the two have grown very close, becoming like family both on and off set. Their friendship is deeper than meets the eye, which is surprising considering how much time they spent together filming Fast and Furious. Vin Diesel has recently made some ridiculous confessions about his connection with Paul Walker, which some may have known about from the beginning. But before we get into that, let's take a look at Vin Diesel's career history up until he met Paul Walker. Vin Diesel was born Mark Sinclair in New York City on July 18, 1967, although he was raised in Alameda County, California. Dolora Sherlene Vincent, a licensed psychologist and astrologer, and Irving H. Vincent, a theater manager and acting teacher, were his adopted parents. Diesel has never met his biological father and comes from a multi-ethnic family. He calls it his ambiguous ethnicity. His stepfather's artistic milieu and his mother's cultural influences greatly influenced his early artistic interests. He broke into the acting industry at a tender age. A little by mistake, he made his acting debut when he was only seven years old. It started when he and his companions stormed into a theater with the intention of vandalizing it. Rather of contacting the authorities, the creative director of the theater approached the students, gave them parts in a future production, and demanded that they show up every day after school. Diesel was inspired to pursue acting throughout his life by this odd introduction to the theater. Theater for the New City, a Greenwich Village avant-garde venue, was Diesel's first exposure to the stage. He learned the ropes and gained knowledge in the theatrical industry thanks to his early exposure to the field. Throughout high school, Diesel participated in several school performances and plays, where he continued to refine his acting abilities and solidified his ambition to become an actor. Diesel had a tough time getting his acting career off the ground, despite his obvious love for the craft. While he was a student at New York City's Hunter College, he focused on creative writing and came to love screenwriting. But he had a hard time landing gigs due to his mixed heritage and the way he looked. He endured constant criticism for being too ethnic or not ethnic enough, which ultimately motivated him to forge his own path in the business world. Diesel made a daring move to establish his own niche in Hollywood in the early 1990s. Multifacial in 1995 was a semi-autobiographical short film he wrote, directed, produced, and performed in. It dealt with the difficulties faced by a multiracial actor in the job market. The short, which highlighted Diesel's ability and perseverance, was filmed in just three days on a shoestring budget. With the selection of Multifacial for the 1995 Cannes Film Festival, Diesel finally got the recognition and praise he deserved. Diesel rode this wave of success to the next level, opening doors for himself. In 1997, he released his first feature film, Strays, in which he not only acted but also wrote, directed, and produced. His skills as both an actor and director were on full display in this grittier urban drama. Steven Spielberg, the renowned filmmaker, took notice of Diesel after seeing his work and hired him in a tiny part in the 1998 critically acclaimed picture Saving Private Ryan. Vin Diesel's journey from childhood to acting career exemplifies tenacity, imagination, and resolve. In spite of everything that came his way, Diesel was able to achieve his Hollywood dreams because he was determined to follow his heart and was not afraid to make his own chances. Diesel met and became close with Paul Walker on the set of Fast and Furious, which was a stroke of luck since the film went on to become a lucrative series. The relationship that developed between Paul Walker and Vin Diesel during their time working on the Fast and Furious films has had a lasting and significant effect on both of their lives. Beyond that of co-stars, their bond evolved into a brotherhood that would have far-reaching consequences for both of their lives. Vin Diesel has devoted himself to paying tribute to his buddy Paul Walker in several meaningful ways after his tragic passing in 2013. 
It was in 2001 while shooting The Fast and the Furious that Vin Diesel and Paul Walker first crossed paths. They had real-life friendships that mirrored their on-screen chemistry. Their roles as Dominic Toretto and Brian O'Connor, respectively, were pivotal to the plot of the series. Diesel and Walker discovered they shared a passion for fast vehicles, excitement, and family values as they ventured into the thrilling world of street racing and heists. Diesel had great respect for Walker's modesty and generosity right from the start. Walker often took part in shark tagging trips and other conservation initiatives, demonstrating his enthusiasm for marine biology and his grounded nature despite his Hollywood prominence. The energy that Diesel provided was distinct. It was passionate, goal-oriented, and very loyal. Their friendship became stronger as a result of their complementary qualities, which fostered an environment where they encouraged one another to reach our full potential in all aspects of life. Their camaraderie went far beyond their time together on site. Beyond their on-screen interactions, Diesel and Walker would often dine together, have meaningful talks, and even attend one other's family gatherings. Both Walker and Diesel became regulars at each other's family get-togethers. Their bond as more than just co-workers was cemented as they helped one other through difficult times and important life events. Just so you know, the day after Paul passed away, Vin Diesel paid a visit to Paul's mom, who proceeded to comfort him by expressing her sorrow over his loss of Paul. Diesel has said that Walker's easygoing personality helped him relax. Walker was impressed by Diesel's unfaltering commitment and his on-screen and off-screen acceptance of family values. Many in Hollywood acknowledged and cherished the fraternal relationship that was formed via this mutual esteem and respect. Tragically, Paul Walker is away in an automobile accident on November 30, 2013. While supporting his organization Reach Out Worldwide at a charity event, he was a passenger in a Porsche Carrera GT that crashed and caught fire. No one felt the loss of Walker more deeply than Vin Diesel, whose death announcement shook the film business and broke the hearts of fans across the globe. The news reached Diesel when he was shooting Fast and Furious 7. Instantaneous and extensive destruction ensued. When Walker passed away, it was like losing a brother as well as a co-star. Diesel often spoke publicly about the hole that Walker's death had created in his life and the heartfelt tributes he had written to him. The news of Walker's death hit him like a ton of bricks, and he compared it to the time he lost a loved one. Following Walker's passing, Diesel made it his personal mission to perpetuate his friend's legacy. The completion of Fast and Furious 7 was one of the most important ways Diesel commemorated Walker. Upon Walker's passing, the picture was in the midst of production, with an unknown future ahead. It was difficult for Diesel and the rest of the team to pretend that Walker was there the whole time, but they chose to complete the film nevertheless as a memorial to him. The filmmakers were able to finish the movie with the help of computer-generated imagery, CGI, and stand-ins, such as Cody and Caleb Walker, who are Walker's brothers. A heartbreaking goodbye to both Brian O'Connor and Paul Walker himself is included in the film's closing, which incorporates a sincere homage to Walker, set to the song See You Again by Wiz Khalifa and Charlie Puth. It was crucial to Diesel and Walker's family, as well as his devoted fan base, that this process be done properly. And he has often mentioned how emotionally taxing it was. Diesel has continued to honor Walker's legacy beyond the movies by posting about him on social media, giving interviews and making appearances. On important days, like Walker's birthday or the anniversary of his death, he often writes homage to him, sharing images and personal stories that show how close they were. Diesel often writes these blogs to show how much he loves and respects Walker and how he wants to keep his memory alive. Pauline, Diesel's second daughter, was born in March 2015 and she was named after his late buddy Walker, another touching homage Diesel has paid to Walker. Diesel has talked publicly about the weight of Walker's presence during labor and how he chose to honor him by naming his daughter after him. The Fast and Furious series is Diesel's way of honoring Walker's legacy. He has repeatedly said that the series is and will be a memorial to Walker and that they make an effort to pay respect to him in every episode. 
fans and actors alike have found new resonance with the franchise's fundamental subject of family after Walker's death. Plus, Diesel has donated to Walker's organization, Reach Out Worldwide, so that they can keep sending relief to places hit by disasters quickly. Diesel does his bit to keep Walker's humanitarian work alive and well by spreading the word about the organization and taking part in its events. Vin Diesel and Paul Walker's relationship exemplifies the power of genuine camaraderie. Diesel has been steadfast in his commitment to honoring Walker's life and keeping his legacy alive despite the terrible loss. This camaraderie goes beyond their time together on set and reflects a real bond that has moved many. Diesel has continued his Buddy Walker's legacy via personal tributes, the Fast and Furious series, and support for Walker's humanitarian activities. His unwavering devotion to Walker serves as a constant reminder of the strong connection they had and the lasting impact that Paul Walker had on the globe. The most important thing he has done to remember his buddy, however, is to have taken in his daughter. After Paul Walker's untimely death in 2013, Vin Diesel stepped up to the plate and became a father figure to Meadow Walker, Paul's daughter. In addition to paying tribute to Paul's memory, the strong friendship that Diesel and Meadow have formed has brought the Walker and Diesel families closer together. Vin Diesel stepped in to help Meadow, who was only 15 years old after Paul Walker's tragic death. Meadow was more than just a ward of Diesel. He welcomed her into his family, gathering with relatives on a regular basis, checking in, and offering emotional support were all part of this. Similar to how their parents' sisterly link has become an integral part of their relationship, Diesel's own children, especially his daughter Hania Riley Sinclair, developed a closeness to Meadow. Meadow and Hania's connection shone through during her wedding in October 2021. Their tight friendship was on full display when Hania was chosen as one of Meadow's bridesmaids. The strong bond that had formed between the two families was further shown by Diesel's daughter's prominent participation. Their bond, fostered by Diesel's attempts to include Meadow in his family, exemplifies the profound love and devotion that permeates their connection. Having Vin Diesel personally accompany Meadow down the aisle was a heartfelt moment during her wedding. Both Diesel's paternal role and his friendship with Paul Walker, who passed away recently, were honored by this gesture. In his touching performance at the wedding, Diesel fulfilled his vow to support Meadow and pay tribute to Paul's memory. The emotional moment of walking her down the aisle symbolized the unbreakable tie that Diesel has with the Walker family. Diesel, in his on-screen and off-screen interviews, has often discussed the value of family. His behavior after Paul passed away is evidence of these principles. Diesel found the most intimate and profound way to remember Paul's memory by embracing Meadow and making sure she felt loved and supported. Meadow has been blessed with stability and affection via this commitment, which has also reinforced the bonds between their families. Diesel isn't only a friend to Meadow, he also backs her in her career and personal pursuits. He has always been there to cheer her on and acknowledge her progress in her modeling profession. The fact that Diesel has spoken publicly about how much he loves and supports Meadow shows how genuine their relationship is. Diesel often brings up Paul Walker in interviews and on social media, calling him his brother. His treatment of Meadow shows how he has taken on a fatherly role to pay respect to Paul's legacy and further emphasizes this kinship. Paul Walker had a tremendous influence on Diesel's life and he will go to great measures to honor his memory by being devoted to Meadow. Vin Diesel's bond with Meadow Walker is the epitome of genuine friendship and family. You can't deny it. Diesel has made sure that Meadow's love and support for Paul Walker will endure by escorting her down the aisle and encouraging a strong bond between Meadow and his own children. This strong connection that continues even after Paul Walker has passed away is a touching tribute to his life and legacy. Both in her charitable work and her successful modeling career, Meadow Walker has done an excellent job of continuing her father, Paul Walker's legacy. Her personal tributes to her father and her will to carry on his philanthropic work demonstrate her desire to commemorate his memory in significant ways. His humanitarian work 
especially that of his charity Reach Out Worldwide, which offers quick relief to places hit by natural disasters, brought Paul Walker widespread fame. Through his involvement with Road W, Meadow has carried out his charitable purpose. Keeping her father's legacy of service to the poor alive, she is an active participant in and advocate for the organization's programs. Her participation in Row WW is a tribute to her father's altruism and a demonstration of her own commitment to make a difference in the world, just as he did. On his birthday and other special days, Meadow would often remember her father. She keeps Paul's memory alive for his admirers and followers by posting touching words and fond memories of him on social media. Photos and stories about their lives together show the close relationship they had in these postings. The tributes that Meadow has written about Paul are a powerful testament to his ever-present influence on her life and the lives of his loved ones. Meadow is well known for her modeling career and her charitable work. She has been on the runway for famous companies and featured in famous fashion publications after signing with DNA Model Management. Meadows' modeling career is a tribute to her father's work ethic and dedication, as well as an expression of her own ambition and will to achieve success. Meadow has overcome adversity to establish a name for herself in the cutthroat fashion business, where she is now well admired and respected. Her father's death was a tragic event, but she hasn't fully recovered from it. This became very evident in 2015 when she started fighting for her father's rights. Meadow filed a wrongful death action against Porsche in 2015, which was a big step toward solving the mystery of her father's death. After Paul Walker's death in a Porsche Carrera GT collision, his family filed a lawsuit claiming the vehicle was partially to blame due to design defects and an absence of safety systems. A settlement was made between Meadow and Porsche in 2017. Both the pursuit of justice for her father's tragic death and the promotion of automobile safety standards were goals of the legal action. Meadows' bravery in suing showed how determined she was to make sure others wouldn't have it so bad. A deal was reached outside of court to conclude the matter. Meadow Walker's dedication to paying respect to Paul Walker is evident in her attempts to carry on her father's charitable activities, her personal tributes, her burgeoning modeling career, and her legal proceedings. She carries on her father's legacy of kindness and giving via her involvement with Road W and the promotion of charity causes through her platform. She is strong and resilient, as seen by her career as a model and her quest of justice via the case against Porsche. What Diesel and Meadow have done shows how much of an impact her father had on their lives and how much they want to honor his memory in any manner they can. Wow. Diesel and Paul had such a special bond. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family as they grieve this loss. Our next video will be out soon, and until then, this is everything for this episode.